Hello and welcome back to Thuric Place, Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. We have arrived at the end, for real this time, apparently. We are in chapter 14, which I still assume is some sort of epilogue um, that we got through the Ultimate Edition. I have no idea, but it looks like it from my perspective. And it consists of two missions, and we'll have to see how hard those will be, so let's get going. And so I entered the dimensional rift, seeking the Forgotten One. The air was thick with death and decay. Poor Laura had told me that this place was not for humankind. But I was no longer human, and any vestiges of my humanity were now gone from me entirely. I hungered for revenge. Darkness consumed me. Rage drove me. All those people who had died or suffered at my hand were but a distant memory now. I wanted blood. The demon would feel my wrath this night, would feel the bitter taste of defeat at my hand, and I would crush his soul to dust beneath my feet. The terrible path of my destiny was now laid before me, and with absolute clarity of mind, I walked that path paved with the corpses of my enemies and friends alike, with relish. So, that's pretty grim, which is, well, right on course with the game so far. <laughs> so, we're a vampire now. Well, and we, we've already seen what we will turn into in the long run. In the now day, basically. So here we are. Uh huh. So I still have access to all of my skills, basically. And let's just see what happens here. Just getting the feel here and then put again but let's get going so this oh oh no why those enemies oh really all of them okay wait it's my last one but I really don't care we need to destroy them, and I need to be immune to damage for a little while here, so that I don't really have to worry about dying too much. So I really don't like having all of them here. The one-hit kills, not my favorite. So we need to take down those specters. There's one. They have more hit points. They are annoying, but they're not as dangerous, and I missed that attack, so we have to redo that <laughs> from the beginning. Yeah, let's skip that. Skip that scene. And so I am going to go in it with the uh, flask again. I might wait a moment before until there are enough enemies around for that to maybe deal more damage. And let's actually try to focus down those one-hit kill guys. Okay, now we can use it. So far, so good. While I'm immune, let's kill one of those. Thank you very much. And just focus on the one hit kill guys again. One more. Dodge roll out of the way. You don't get to hit me. I don't allow it. Come on. There's one over there. Okay, this went a lot better. And I just hope that there won't be any more spawning in. That's the last one taken care of. So how do we open this? Just with the... Okay. We just have to pull it open. 
I thought maybe we could do something new now, but apparently not yet, at the least. And dodge roll through it, I assume. Assuming I can make that. Yes, thank you very much. So, this is hot. Quite literally. Oh, what's happening? Well, so far we still look human, from what I can tell, but that might be about to change here. Or is that the forgotten one that is in first? Oh, hello. Who are you? Okay, so he was in the lava. Or is it magma? <laughs> While it's underground, it's magma. While it's in the open, it's lava. So I don't know what that is. And that is actually the Forgotten One. Uh, size big, difficulty high. The Bernard family were responsible for a vast number of hideous crimes, most of them involving foul sorceries and demonic rituals. The most horrible of them all was the summoning of the creature known as the Forgotten One, an evil monster of immense power. This entity was the sovereign of the elemental plane of darkness and quickly escaped the Bernard's controlling magic. Finally, the three founders of the Brotherhood of Light fought the demon and used their powers to imprison it forever, or so they, or so they thought. Today, the monster impatiently awaits the time of its release, eager to seek retribution against all humanity. So this is pretty horrible. And we will end up fighting him. I'm pretty sure about that. Yep, we are actually following him right away now. Apparently, if I can actually hit that ledge. So far, I'm not really able to. Oh, so I have to be worried about dropping debris now? Not yet, apparently. So, let's swing here. Oh. Hide? Oh, yeah. You don't see me. Oh, that was tense. Okay, so not only do we have to follow them, we have to be sneaky about it. That is scary. For sure. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. Okay, let's go back again. So far, so good. Will we have to repeat that? Or... Was that a one-time thing? Oh, and the... Uh, of course now the level is rising. Okay, so how... Like this? So here it all comes together, really. Oh, nice. So now I have to... What? Please? Thank you. Jump over there, Gabriel. Oh, the time constraint. Not nice. I don't like this. Okay, go around. I still really like the the climbing sections in this game, but I don't necessarily like it when we're on a timer there. It adds something for sure, but it also gives me a heart attack every time. So not necessarily my favorite. Oh no, and of course. So this is getting really close. Up. Where do I need to go? What the? I didn't see. My monitor is reflecting a little bit of light right now, so it's a little bit hard to see this. It looks like there's... Yep, it, I think there's uh, somewhere there to jump up. It's a little bit hard to see right now. Okay, yep, that was correct. Keep going upwards. Oh, no. Yep, and I missed the jump. Okay, this is, this is bad. Uh, let's redo that. Oh, I need to start over. That is unfortunate. 
I just need to notice the gaps and do single jumps, not double jumps, probably. At least yet. That's how I missed that one. Yeah, this is getting really close. Oh, almost. Just grab onto that ledge, Gabriel, please. Oh, it has stopped for now. Okay. Oh. There he is. So why... How did we... How did we overtake him? Or how did we do that? And I am... Nope. It's rising again. I need to move. This is horrible. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Okay, I just need to dodge right now. And I should always seek to go back into the middle. To make this possible, of course. Okay, the timing is getting harder here. Let's see. So far, it's still fine. He's still happy. <clears throat> oh. He fell back in. But he will climb out, so I need to hide. So why hasn't he seen me? Shouldn't he see me? Really? Nope, that was wrong. That was so wrong. Oh wow. Yeah, this is... This is not easy, but I, I misclicked there. I pushed the wrong button. So we need to redo that. A this time. Please just grab on there. Go as high as possible. And this time I press the right button. So... Why am I no longer... Hey, he finally noticed me. Oh, hello. So that's not supposed to happen. And he can just destroy us like that. That is concerning. And the game is designed in a way right now that I have to stay somewhat close to him. Because we can't progress further. Oh, I need to hide. That's a little bit unforgiving for sure. I have maybe a second to realize that I need to go left and hide there. Otherwise, he will just kill us. That is unfortunate. So let's keep going. This is not done yet, and now I can go over. So we can pass us again. And I can keep falling. So how am I supposed to kill him if he can just one-shot us? <laughs> Somebody care to explain that? Okay, what is that? It definitely looks impressive. <laughs> so let's just call him somewhat powerful. He's not stronger than us, no, of course not. Oh, but he is struggling, actually. So, is he weakened because of his imprisonment, or is he just not as strong as it appears sometimes? Oh, Gabriel's going for it. Which means we're going for it. Or is he faking it? Apparently. Hello. Holy crap. Okay, what well, now? Ow! That was the knee. Ouch! We 
deal some damage there? Apparently we did. So why does he look like that underneath there? What is this? A human here? Oh, Who we can you? talk. Fool! I am your destroyer, demon. You! Pathetic mortal. Nothing can overcome my power. That outfit. You are a warrior of the Brotherhood, but something about you is different. Your soul is unusual. Mark my words, when I am through with you, you will beg for your miserable life! <laughs> is that so? You think you could defeat me now that part of my power is destroying the seal? Hear me, warrior. My power is unlimited. I will strip the living flesh from your body and devour your soul. Enough talk! <laughs> How about you? Okay, we're actually going to fight him right now. Oh, now he's got some weapons. Okay, so do we need to focus on his right leg? Because we can't deal damage anywhere else? Oh, shockwave. Where is he? Yeah, we can only hurt his right leg. That's the only part of him that we can damage, I think. Okay, you don't get to hit me. Oh, yeah, he's going to pull that inwards. Holy crap, he is really... His attacks aren't that bad, actually, so far, but uh, it's hard for me to evade them at the moment. And I am going to absorb most of that, or almost all of it, as light magic. Right now, I feel like we need that more than anything. Oh, hello. That is going to go left and right. So far, still not bad. We're learning right now. It could be worse. Oh, we did something. And am I imagining things or are we reaching... Oh, we probably have to evade right now. The focus stayed faster than we usually did. And I think we can't really do anything to him right now. Now we should be able to again. Oh, he's regenerating health. Yeah, that is not nice. Oh, yeah. Raising his leg. Something I would like to, should avoid, if possible. Okay, we put him down again. Or am I supposed to attack him here? Oh, no. A synchronized block? I actually did it, I think. On the first try, or not. I try to. But the game is finally punishing me. I am horrible at these synchronized blocks and now I need to do them to make something work here. <laughs> that is so mean. Oh yeah, I'm going to die. Let's just try to get him into, into that state again so that I can try to practice that. So let's evade the first one because I don't really know. I need a little bit of... Oh. That was a correct one. Nice. We actually managed there. Holy crap. Okay, let's see how far we can get this. I'm still unsure whether or not we can do that on the first try. But maybe? The problem is not getting hit. That won't be easy. The question is also, does all of this do any damage, or is it just for the sake of progression, where we're destroying his armor, and can damage him easier? I have no idea. Oh, so I can't hit him there anymore, so I have to... Nope, I need to go back. 
Yep, that is going left and right. Ouch. Oh, the shockwave. I forgot about that one. So I'm having a little bit of trouble hitting him, actually, right now. I think I need to use aerial attacks, and I really hate that fact. And I'm going to die in just a moment here. And I'm dead. So that is a problem we're going to have to overcome. But we did we do skip the first phase here. So the question is, can we do something good here? So this is not a bad start. Uh-huh. Yeah, you don't get to do this. Nope, not happening. So let's actually wait for the attacks that we know we can do something there. Now we can attack him for a bit at least. Oh, come on, that is bad. Oh, oh he hit us. So, if in doubt, I'm going to have to evade him for the most part while he does stuff like this. Oh, come on. But I am running out of health again, which is problematic. Here it comes. Oh, please stay in the air. Thank you very much. Oh, I need to hit him. I need light magic points. Oh, please avoid. Okay, now we need to reflect that again. Oh no, he's doing something different. Okay, what am I doing here now? He's going to pull that back, but then what? <laughs> that looks pretty impressive. Okay. Oh, Gabriel. Oh, hello. That was awesome. <laughs> Holy crap. So I have some suspicions on how this is going to end. The prison will open, he will leave, and we will have to follow him outside and fight it again. Yeah, the prison is falling apart right now. The fight is not over yet, or is it? I underestimated you. You are a worthy rival. However, you must know that you will not prevail here. I grow tired of your idle boasts. Trust me, they will be the last thing you will ever hear. Okay, what's happening now? Is he pulling his power back to him? Is that already open so he could leave, or what is going on? <laughs> Asking all the important questions. And Gabriel it just stands there. It would be easier there. to end yourself now, warrior, by your own hand. <laughs> you will suffer. That, I can promise. You will never find peace. In light, no darkness. Okay, looks like he's just going to leave. And that ends the dimensional prison. Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, not much I can span that on still. So we move on to the underworld and the last chapter in total. Let's see. What's going to happen? Despite his boasts, our last confrontation had proven to me that the demon could be hurt. I would need to be patient and bide my time in order to take the opportunity that I knew would eventually come. I could wait a lifetime for that moment, but I didn't care anymore. I was past that now. Time was my friend and an eternity of blood my destiny. I would make this monster pay. He will know fear. 
he will taste the bitterness of defeat and look into the eyes <coughs> of the dragon as his life force spilled onto the ground before him. Look upon me, demon, for I am darker and more terrible than thee. I am that dragon, and you are my prey. That is quite the promise there from Gabriel. Is so we actually just following him now? Oh, and I've died instantly because the game is not already punishing enough. It needs to take my life away because I die and I miss that jump. Really. That was completely necessary. Yeah, that is... Oh, almost missed that. This is going to be tough. There's one more back there. And I assume you just need to stay behind him again. Because he's such a mighty demon, he can't notice the puny human slash vampire behind him. And the game... Oh, come on. Really? I missed that jump again. And it just took out all my life. So at least now I have more hit points again. But still, this is not my favorite section right now. The camera angle makes those jumps just a little bit awkward again, and that's the main problem I usually have with the game. It's one of my biggest um, criticisms about it, actually. The combat is fine, and the story is pretty cool, but the camera angles and the way sometimes the camera handles because of that is just horrible. It's so easy to miss some jumps because you aren't moving exactly as the camera dictates. Okay, and I, really, I, I ran into the lava instead of jumping into it. That's what's happened there. And I need to redo that completely again. That's a bit of a bad joke there. <laughs> that was really unnecessary. I started walking and jumping and I ran off right before I jumped, apparently. Not my... F and I delayed too long there and died again. Perfect. I'm sorry. These sections of the game are a little bit tedious. I like the climbing sections and the exploration and stuff like that, but when the camera angle is your enemy, it's not fun. Oh yeah, that I screwed up myself. That I really did screw up myself. Oh, still, this is bad. And in all honesty, I probably should just die a few more times to get my life back. But I don't want to do that. I would like to make progress here. Huh? Thank you very much. Keep going. There's the next one down there. And now we will go left again. And hopefully this time I won't run off. What? What did I miss there? Did I miss a platform? Oh, come on. At least I have my hit points back. <laughs> Let's see it like that. And if I fail one more time, I'll probably cut things out or just pause the video until I'm at the point where I was before and I just ran into the lava. Yeah, so now we should be okay, I think. Nope, go back further. And so this one is still not enough. There is one more back there. Okay, I missed that. Just now, okay, that was probably pretty close. And let's see. Yeah, I'm behind you. Oh no. I... he looked like he would move there, and now I need to do that all again. So this will be pretty close timing again. Oh, thank you, that's a checkpoint actually hitting that. 
so. What's going to happen there? Okay, so far so good. Oh, come on. I'm not there. You don't see me. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm hanging on. <laughs> this looks. This is a little bit funny right now. This is really... Really? Am I the only one that finds this weird and a little bit awkward right now? We're playing a weird game of hide and seek with him and we're right there. And you can't tell me he doesn't know that. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, let's look at that. Oh, of course I missed that jump, so what is that guy doing in there? And how the hell am I supposed to reach that? I can't. Really? Or can I just loot him from over here? I shouldn't be able to, but I am. It's actually a scroll. Okay. Witchcraft and sorcery, I don't believe in ancient demonic prophecies or the power of the supernatural, and so for this I was selected to carry out the will of the Brotherhood. The elders of the Order insist that I am chosen, that God grants me, the special, grants me special favor. Only now, here in this hellish place, at this late hour, do I hear the hollow laugh of death ringing loudly in my ears. What a fool for accepting such a mission. Where is my God now when I need him the most? The following words are scribbled on the back of the scroll. He who is valiant and pure of spirit may find his destiny in the maws of the beast of Arg. Arg? Really? You are not sure if there's anything called the beast of Arg or if the knight died while writing this. Okay. Finesty in the moss. Okay. That might be a tip for us. So where is he? Did we lose him or is he back there somewhere okay let's keep going oh no skeletons my favorite oh and it's burning skeletons even better we haven't seen those yet but four of them is not my favorite so we need to try and get into the focus state if possible so that I can regain some health here and I did dodge that, but apparently not quite enough. Oh, come on, and I can't afford to get hit here. I need to get into focus. Or just kill one of them, actually. But we're getting hit instead. So let's use some of those. I mean, they won't, they won't work on the boss, so why save them for him? Come on, just let me get him down. Okay, we actually did hit him there. And I got not a single... Oh, yes, there are a few. It's not a lot, but it will be enough to at least give me a little bit of health back. That's all I need right now. Oh, and right when I'm in the focus state, I get hit again. Okay, let's do that again. We gain more health. Okay, that is another shield down, which is good. Oh, we got hit there, and so I could What? <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. And it's a little bit annoying that we can't destroy them when they're forming there, because that's basically how you kill them for real. So why isn't that, is that not working? Well, it's game design, of course, I know that, but still, it's not nice game design, in my opinion. If we can kill them like that after we've taken them down once, why not be able to do that again? That makes no sense, or when they first form. It's the same way they set themselves together. So it doesn't really make, make sense. And yes, this is whining. Quite a bit. Because I hate these enemies with a passion. And I, for whatever reason, can't dodge their attacks very well. And that annoys me a little bit, and I'm letting myself get back to the corner here. When I'm close to getting a focus state again, and there it goes, and now I'm almost dead again. 
please just die already. Not Gabriel, the skeleton. Holy crap. Okay, you do this, that, and now I have to deal with only two for now. Will things make things at least a little bit easier? I dodged there, but once again, not fast enough. It's so annoying to fight against them, and I'm already backed into a corner again. I don't see anything there. Let's back off. Ow! Come on. And it's pretty hard because you need to notice every attack that is coming from the side and from far further away and be able to evade those. And that is not easy. So I would like to take that one down and take him down permanently, but... And I'm dead again. Oh god, yeah, I'm going... Uh, one more try while recording, and if that one fails, I will fight them off-camera because you don't need to see all of that and hear me raging on because I'm bad at the game. This probably would be a lot easier if I would just be able to synchronize block, but I'm just horrible at that and they have a lot of attacks that you actually can't uh, block. And not only are they can... Uh, I'm missing a word here. They can close the gap really fast with their charge attack there, so not only have they good defensive capabilities, they actually can close the gap and get very offensive really fast, and it's pretty hard to avoid that. And right when I get into the focus state again, I get hit, of course, because for whatever reason I'm unable to dodge just then. Oh, come on. Nope. And the problem is, once you're in, in an attack animation, you can't dodge. You need to wait for that to finish, I think. So I, sometimes I can't avoid their attacks, and that's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I need to be careful again. There might be a charge coming somewhere. And I would like to... Yep, I, I dodged there, didn't I? Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, here we are. I managed to beat them by just using up... Oh no, there's more? Can I just leave, please? I actually can. Wow. Okay. I managed to beat them by using up all of my fairies. Um, so we might have just been able to leave there from the get-go. I don't know. So I used the fairy stunt them all and then went haywire on them and got a focus state pretty fast. Okay, so we're going to repeat our combat here again. And just no way of me getting back to full health or regaining magic really well is a bit unfortunate. I really hope that I can get that before fighting the boss, but so far it doesn't really look like it. And here we are again. <laughs> really. Nope, you don't hit me. Oh. Ouch. That looks painful. <laughs> Just a little bit. So we got him on his arm. Oh yes. We're doing this again. So, does he have any new attacks or not? So far it doesn't really look like it. Oh, the problem here is... Okay, this does nothing, so that's enough. So I'm going to save that last one for... What did... What hit me there? I'm going to save that last one if I might be able to regain some regain maybe a little bit of light magic and that would make us immune. Oh come on, really? All those weird knockbacks are not really necessary. Yeah, I'm going to die here in just a moment again. Okay, this one is new. 
and I missed all of my attacks there, where I actually had a decent shot of hitting him. So this is a continuation of our fight, because he's at about half health. I'm dead now, but at least we know what to do now. And I'm, while I'm airborne, I can't dodge him. That is really a big deal. Come on, I'm right there. Why am I not hitting him? Okay, so far so good. And I just... Oh, come on. Really? I just need to be patient. Which I'm not. Which is the main problem here. Because at some point he will do his weird power pose there. But at the moment I'm just doing my best to get hit again, unfortunately. Let's see. Yeah, how do we provoke him into doing that? So I'm not hitting him again, and I'm dead again. It's so weird that I, I, I need to attack him and hit his arm, but for that at least it feels like I need to be airborne. And when I'm airborne, I can't dodge, so it's really weird. So I'm going to try and just do one attack when I'm in the air, or maybe two at the most. And then get away again. But we need to get close enough as well, so that I don't get... Uh, that I can, I'm actually in range to hit him. Yep, two is just... two is already too much here, apparently. This is not going to help me... See, there I could have hit him, but we missed. There was his arm down, so I for one stone didn't need to dodge. Let's see, but we're not doing a whole lot of damage. This is the problem here right now. Nope, not taking it. The best part is really when he does his hit, when he laughs there and just stays. Then I can hit him a lot. But it's just not working right now. Oh, come on. And with magic, this would be so much better. And his area attacks around him are just horrible, because those I can't evade at all. So this... I don't like this fight at all right now, because it's just... So weirdly designed, in my opinion. This is the one he's needed to do all along. And now I'm going to get hit again. So how am I supposed to evade all of those attacks? That just... I don't see how. And I'm dead again. Because he stopped sprinting, I stopped to start sprinting again. And now we need to redo all of that. So that is fun. Oh, come on, really? If only I could get into focus state so that I could regain a little bit of light magic, that would make things so much more manageable, because then I could use one of the holy water flasks to make myself immune for against damage for a short time, and that would be so helpful. Nope, you don't get to hit me. So do I just need to move behind him at all times, if possible? was a little bit too slow there. Okay, this is bad. Yep, I was in the air too long there. Okay, I am slowly figuring this out. This attack is pretty bad though, so I need to be a little bit more conservative with my attacks. Stick with the two, depending on what he does. Let's move behind him again. Oh, come on. Okay, he's coming again. This time we evaded that one. We dodged right into this one, though. Oh, the not the shockwaves are the worst about this because otherwise we would be able to get the way there, but we really can't. So try that again, and this one is going to be frustrating, I assume, in the long run. The problem is even if I pause now and try to make this better. I don't know. We'll see. Let me 
make this attempt and see how we progress there. Oh no, Gabriel. Oh, yeah, thank you, please. Oh, that was really good. And he can just pull that as far as he wants, apparently. And those attacks are bad. We got hit there again. That's the ranged area attack. Come on. Nope. He's just... He has so many attacks that just hit a wide area like this, for example. It's so hard to dodge. And the wide sweeps and the area attacks in general is just not nice. And I really have no idea what I can do better here. Like this, we're in the air and we still get hit by the knockback. Just why? There comes one again and I'm dead again. Okay, see you in a moment. I hope I can make this better. Okay, I've been practicing a little bit. I think I've died three or four more times by now. Uh, but I actually managed to get into focus state now with an attack. And so I feel like I have a little bit of a better handle on it with, with that one. Because it hits him a few times. The problem is, I also found out that using... Oh, come on. Um, using the attack there. Um, the Holy Water Flask with the Light Magic active actually does not make me immune against him. Um, but at least I am able to regain a little bit of health here. Assuming I can actually hit him, which right now I apparently can't. Oh, really? Because there are actually some nice area attacks that I've forgotten about that we can do here. No! Oh, this is so close. But I'm basically doing no damage whatsoever and I can't really dodge that well. Please just let me regain a little bit of health, keep me alive. Not a lot, but it's at least a little bit of a sliver of health. Oh, that's more. That is definitely more. Nope, he's going to... Oh, wow, he missed. Oh, that is so bad. All of those hit points basically lost again. Let's absorb that. Activate it. No! Ah, oh, we f I finally made some progress there. Okay, but I'm getting better at this. I still don't like this fight, to be sure. That is not that entertaining to do and watch, probably. Okay, I can absorb those. And I hate this attack with a passion now. The problem is I need to stand still to absorb those... Um those elemental orbs and that is not as easy as it sounds and none of those attacks hit of course and now he can just wail on me again oh come on really can the game cut me a little bit of a break here? and I'm, I'm i'm playing this on normal how the hell is this combat this last fight on the highest difficulty or even the next highest really Okay, I need to regain a little bit of health here again. We need to absorb those. I did reach them all. And he's going for this jerk attack again. Knockback, of course. And I... I don't know. I'm... I need to remain cool here because getting annoyed at this really won't help me. At all one bit and why am I not getting into focus state now all the times before all that did it oh we get knocked back there again that's a blow close okay this is fine this we can work with he's going to do that okay absorb those oh that's going to hurt nope you don't get to hit me Okay, he's jumping up. 
Oh, we could have hit him there. Okay, this is going well. I get to actually save up a little bit. Okay, we're out of focus state. So as soon as he's back, I'm actually going to regain a little bit of health here. Okay, that's good enough. No! Okay, so far it's still fine. We're back into focus. Oh, the shockwave is just the most annoying thing about this. And feels a little bit unneeded. He's already really hard to beat. But that I have to stay away from him. Like this makes this even worse. Keep running. Oh, he did his pose again. I could have done more there. That is going to get a shockwave. Yep. And even hitting them on the side, just touching them, deals damage towards us. No, I was too far away. Absorb those. We can help. No, we were too close there. And how much longer do I need to do this before we get prompt again? That is really problematic. Oh, come on. I got hit by the backlash there. That's not how this should go, in my opinion. Oh, come on. Okay, he's going up again. That is no problem. Oh, not enough. And I'm hanging on by a thread here. Oh, finally! I did something. What do we need to do now? I feel like this is bad. Oh, 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 oh. I know what you need to do, I think. Oh, we're taking damage there. Nope, there's one over there. Okay, that is bad. Yeah, I... I... We can forget about those. Yep, and of course he goes for all the ones that are too far away for me to actively do something. Now we can finally do something, but I'm too slow. Nope, we hit him. At least once. But our battlefield has gotten smaller. But this should be another checkpoint, and that is important. Finally made some progress here. So... Oh no, now I need to hit him. Okay, it's on the front as well, but still. This is pretty, pretty horrible. Okay, left shoulder now. But once again, I'm almost dead. And he's still doing his same attacks, so that is fine. Nope. So I'm going to die here. In, in now. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. And that actually was okay because we have more health now again. Nope. Please don't hit me. Oh, come on. It's... I, I don't know if I'm... If, is my idea so wrong on how to attack him here? Or am I just bad at the game? Or is is, is the boss just designed design in a way that it's so annoying to just be able to hit him? It feels that... I, I tried to run away there, but I, I was still in the animation and couldn't. At least it felt like that. And I don't understand, and that is what annoys me the most. Not that this is hard, boss fights are hard, I can live with that, but I feel like I'm missing some crucial part here in all of this, and I can't figure out what, and that is what annoys me. Because this, I, this shouldn't be as weird as it is. I shouldn't be forced to go for aerial attacks and nothing else because I can't hit him any, anything else uh, differently. That's just not how this should work in my opinion. 
I am assuming that I'm missing something here, and I just don't know what. I will keep going like this, it will take a while. I hope you're in for it. And I sprinted there, but he didn't do it, because apparently my input was wrong. And so this is... I'm going to die again. Let's just be honest here. And I can't regain enough points here for it to make any sort of difference. I need to get close there. Absorb those before they disappear. But I can't because he's just too fast. I really... I'm, I'm getting a little bit desperate here because... It, at some point I will get it. It's just trial and error and at some point this will work. I can't go over the area of effect, I can't go around it, I'm always getting hit. And that's just not fun. And I, it's even higher up than before, than the one we did before was, so it's even harder to hit him there. Oh, that was so good. No, that was so bad. And I hit him once there, I think, at the most. Oh, keep going. No, that is going to hurt. And I need to get close again to absorb those. Closer. Nope, area attack. Yeah, this is bad. There it comes again. I need to be patient now. There it is. Now I can regain a little bit of health. Nope, that one is going to hurt. We just got into focus again. Okay, that is fine. That we will be able to evade. Okay, so far so good. No, that's going to hurt. No, we actually evaded it for whatever reason. Oh no, we could have done something there. That is so hard to see, in my opinion. But no, we're going to get hit. But we're also going to hit him there. But we're dead, so try that again. Oh, and I really hope that this is the last phase. I somehow doubt it. No, that is going to hit us. Because it feels like this shouldn't be the end already, but it, I'm already annoyed with this fight because of how it's designed. The challenge is just really bad. I can't use 90% of my moveset because I it won't hit him. So how is that good game design? Or am I just too stupid to do it? <laughs> I really don't know. Am I missing something crucial here? What if I stay away from him? He does his charge attack. So do I just need to stay away from him and force and get him to charge us? Oh no, then he does other stuff. We haven't seen that attack at all so far. And he didn't sprint again when I wanted him to. No, that's going to hit us. And that's just it. Every basically every health I gain, I lose right away again because of his weird and stupid area attacks. And then he does stuff like this. So this is really not a lot of fun right now. I had so much fun with this game in the middle of the game and the beginning is always pretty pretty cool and awesome. But this is getting tedious and it started with the with the What was it called again? With the Dark Lord of the Dead, basically, all of those areas surrounding him. Those were all really annoying, and it doesn't get better since then. And I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. I dodged roll there, but he still hit me. Because it doesn't make me immune. How the hell am I supposed to evade those attacks? Can somebody please explain that to me? 
and it's just the entire chapter. I didn't gain a single chance to regain ma magic or health or whatever. Items. Any sort of items. It doesn't help us and just... I did try that already, but I think this actually does not make me immune here, at least to some of his attacks. Because I somehow still died while the heavy was active. Right now it apparently does for whatever reason. It didn't do that when I tried it out uh, off camera. And now I'm dead, because this attack still hurts me. Even though I'm apparently immune to magic. But maybe that will help me to actually achieve something here. But not when he does attacks like this. Okay. And no, I'm still taking damage, by the way. I think it's sort of... Nope, it's... I don't get it. I really don't get it. Am I that bad at this game? Let me... I... I don't know what I need to do here. It makes no sense to me. And I keep always dodging in the wrong direction because he has that many attacks and I'm pretty bad at... at apparently I'm too bad at seeing which one is which and I'm always dodging in the wrong direction. And then he does this one. Especially this one. It's just so annoying to evade. And I'm not really doing any damage. It takes forever to do something, and I'm going to die again. There it is. See you in a moment. I'm going to keep practicing, but I don't need you all to see that. I just want to ramble on a little bit. I cut you off there. Sorry. So, see you in a moment. Okay, we did something. I finally managed to hurt him again, and we're getting... we're making progress here. Okay, this is good. Oh, wow. What? Launch? What does that do? So do I just need to aim and launch them every time and hit with all three of them, possibly? I assume so. Oh, that one hit as well, I think. Oh, we're getting there. Is that it? I still doubt it. Somehow. But it's... Oh, we're hitting his head. That's a good sign. So please don't tell me that's his new vulnerable spot now. But it looks like it. Oh, it's still not the end. Yeah, now I need to hit him on the head. Okay, nice. So this is pretty bad. Now that is not a problem. And I just... Need no... Nope. I need to keep doing what I was doing. And this will be even harder to hit, so that is even worse. And I got hit there, but I am going to show this again, just so that you know how much I suffer. Because I think I'm going to die again. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, this is fun. So we've got another checkpoint, and this might actually be the last, but how the hell am I supposed to hit him up there? Reliably. That is not fun. So I'm going to circle him. So really, how am I supposed to hit him up there? I don't understand right now. I can't reach him. I don't know how to hit him up there. So do I need to do double jumps and expose myself even further? That couldn't... can't be right. But apparently it is. But I'm exposing myself to so much here. Wait. Go here. Go to skills. I think there might be a way here. Maybe. Yeah, this is... first of all, this does not help me that much, but I am going to go for that. It's the one I've been doing. Maybe that could help. Um, in the air. Yeah, that won't help me. 
The summer salt won't help me either. The problem is with the relic power. It won't help me. Yeah, we can't do that. This is going to be tough. But hitting him up there... Oh, come on. Yes, we evaded that one. Awesome. So this is basically even worse than it was before because now I need to double jump for this to reach. And he can hit me out of the air there, which will make things difficult. Okay, this is good. I can regain a little bit of health. We lose it all the way again. Oh, what is this? That one looked new. Oh, we're just out of reach. I overcommitted on my strikes there. And he hit us with that again. Okay. Yeah, this is not nice. I'm. If I had reached my focus state again, I probably should go for dark magic there now to actually gain some damaging capabilities here. It's only one attack, but it might be a good one. Okay, this is fine. That will allow us to actually hit him up there. This is not ideal. And it because of this, it gets even worse. Because how am I supposed... I need to go in blind to hit him without knowing what attacks he will go for. And that's just bad, because I can't evade in the air. Like this. That way. Yeah, it won't help me. Oh, come on, yes. Ah, oh, we lost it again. Okay, let's try to regain some health here. This is good. That attack is pretty perfect for us. No, I am too slow. I, I, I'm, I'm out of... I'm at my end here. I really don't know. And I want to show you the combat, the fight coherently all together, but the game is really not giving me that option here because I don't want you to suffer through all of this. Oh, come on. Now he does that attack again. So that was necessary. And now I'm going to get hit again. Oh, he... he always does this one when I can least need it. Oh, I need the problems. I would like to go for more damage here, but I... No! He's going to hit me. The problem is I'm, I can't form sentences anymore. I'm always getting interrupted here. Nope, I'm dead again. I already forgot what point I wanted to make, because this is so bad. And I'm going to show one more attempt, so this one now, and if that one fails again... Oh... I'm just going to practice again until we hit him, and you don't get to see it, unfortunately. I'm, I'm double going in the direction, and he's not sprinting, and because of that I'm taking damage. And now that I actually had the chance to hit him again, I don't, and now I overextend myself, and that is just fun. Oh, he went up right after that, and that is another thing, that he's... He's really... Oh, the knockback is just so annoying. After that sprint attack, he can just do so... He's basically instantly acting again. And that is really hard to, to avoid sometimes. I 
hit him once there, and I can't even get away. Okay, see you in a moment. Sorry about all of this. Okay, so to my shame, I'm, I'm for the last 20 minutes or so, I've been stuck here, by the way. Uh, I just actually went to YouTube myself and looked up on a video on how somebody beat this guy. I only watched it uh, for a few seconds to see what he was doing. And his control is a little bit better than mine, but aside from that, I do have the right idea here, so it's just my execution that is lacking here. Apparently a lot. And that particular person had a lot more magic than I do. Uh, I don't know how. It's just really annoying that I went into this last chapter with basically no magic whatsoever and I had no way of regaining anything. So this is just horrible, and I actually do have an appointment in not so long, and I need to do this somehow, but I can't. And it's so unfortunate, I was really hoping that this wouldn't be some sort of roadblock here in the end, so that I could do this and move on, and that we would finish the game and have fun in the last chapter, but it's, it's getting so tedious, and that is so unfortunate. No, this is going to hit me, because once I'm in the air there, it is too late. Because all I can really do is try and do something useful here, but I can't. Oh, yep, and he charges right away, and while I'm in the air, I can't dodge. The problem is, my initial jump direction is crucial here, because otherwise... I can't hit him, because you can't change your approach mid-air. And I'm just not able to do it, apparently. Why was I pushed back there? What did I, what did I do wrong there again? And I'm dead again. <sighs> I'm going to keep trying. Hi guys, so I actually had to stop recording because I, I had an appointment, as I've mentioned, and now I'm back and I've been fighting that annoying thing a little bit again. And I have to be, be, be honest, I did look up on YouTube on how to beat him. Basically, I just looked at a video at somebody fighting against him on normal difficulty as well. And basically, he's just annoying. 90% of the comments, if you look at look up Castlevania the Forgotten One and pick the first video or whatever, I assure you most of the comments will say this guy is really annoying. Not only is his moveset gigantic, he's also extremely hard in comparison to the rest of the game and it's des his design is just weird. But I think I figured out on how to do this now. Um, I'm almost dead, he's almost dead though as well, but I wanted to get you in here again in case we do actually make it. I might not talk as much, but it will try. And if I don't get it now, I'll pause again and uh, unpause once I actually do beat him. But I'm going to keep going now until he is down. And then leave this behind us. <laughs> okay, let's see. So as you can see, this is how things are right now. And I actually, wow, did get hit there. So this is basically when we can hit him the best, and now that I've unpaused, I actually died immediately, which is right on course with how I supposed this would go. So what I'm trying to do is always provoke him to do this attack and then hit him, if possible. This white sweeping one is the one that is hardest to avoid for me in that stage, basically. It's pretty... Um, weird to dodge away from that. So previously I was trying to stay away from him to provoke him to use his long range attacks, but that doesn't leave me a lot of time and I need to double jump to get into range to hit him. Now I only need to do one jump because his head comes down. And that does allow me to do some stuff here a little bit easier. And this is working okay by so far, so I'm going to try that. He does have a lot of hit points, so hitting him is not that easy. 
but I'm not doing double jumps anymore, it's really not worth it. And I'm just trying to hit him while we can down there. So here I can do a double jump because the animation is long enough. Oh, that attack I haven't seen in a while now. Let's still try to not get hit. This one is okay, the straight down. Yeah, this one is the the hard one, and this one is the one we want. The one I previously disliked the most is actually the one that helps us the most in hitting it now. And so far I'm doing fairly okay, but let's not uh, count our horses yet, or whatever the saying is. And as you see, I'm not double jumping. I don't want to risk things. But I'm also staying a little bit too far away. Okay, now I'm double jumping. Hit him twice. Okay, he's going up, so we're going away. Come on. Nope. For that one, we need to be too far, uh, far enough away so that I can, we can actually dodge out of its arc, I think. Which is not easy. We need to be right on the break there. Oh, I hit too much there. This is going to be close again. I might die. I just wanted to show you this face with my new tactic, of, uh, complete for once. So for that attack to not hit you, you either need to be, I think, very close or very far away from him. Oh, I'm too far away there. So you can either dodge under his arm, basically. Oh, yeah, that, I hate when that happens, when you get hit by the knockback from the, or the animation there. Oh, no. Oh wow, we were up above that. That was close. So can he please not do that attack? I would like for him to use his double swords. Nope. There's... Oh, come on. I'm trying to not take any risks here and go up. And I'm dead. Okay. So we'll be back once I actually do take him out, which hopefully won't take that long anymore. So see you in a moment. We got it, I think. Oh, wow. Yep. Finally. Holy crap. So I'm going to leave all of my struggle and annoyance at the game in here, because that is something you worth to be sure. You cannot here, fool. You have no comprehension of what you are up against. At least I assume that it is it. The seal is open. I'll enter your world now. It will be reduced to ashes, and I shall inflict <coughs> ten times the pain and suffering that were inflicted upon me when I was imprisoned by your brotherhood. <laughs> I'll let you live, so you can witness your complete and utter failure. <laughs> So those black tendrils don't look good for him. Freedom at last. I think. Because what he used was white. And is that just it? I don't know. So he took part of his power. So why didn't we get to do that fight? I yield to you. Mercy, my liege. Mercy. Okay. <laughs> really? Wow.
And I did look it up, these two chapters were part of the Reverie DLC, if I'm not mistaken. And the community agrees that they are decidedly worse than the actual game, which I agree with. The Satan fight, the actual last boss, is pretty cool. And I like that one. But this DLC, the Laura part was pretty nice, but the rest was a little bit tedious, to be sure. So I'm trying not to... Let that destroy my... Oh, hello, he destroyed that. Trying not to let it uh, mar my experience with the game completely. There was still a lot of fun parts in here. Um, just these, this DLC really is not that cool or good. Especially the Forgotten One fight. It's pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> But still. So this appears to be it. Uh, anything else happening here? Or was that it? Okay, apparently that was actually it. Yep. So, yeah. That's the end. So, this is where we're going to end it. We are done with Castlevania. So, I have mixed feelings about this game. I had a lot of fun in the early to mid-game range, I think, and during near close to the end it became a little bit tedious and the two additional chapters were just bad in some regards. Not all, of course, but there were design choices that really stopped me from, from liking it for a while. Um, but that happens. Uh, I am still had a lot of fun with the game, even though I got annoyed at it at times, so... I think I can recommend it, aside from the DLC there. That's just... no. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That was Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I don't know if I will do more Castlevania games, probably not for a while. There is Lords of Shadow 2, which apparently is not as good as the first one. And then there is Mirrors of Fate, which uh, plays between those two and is a 2D style of game again, I believe. But we'll see. There is a lot of stuff that I uh, want to play and maybe at some point I'll get back to Castlevania. We'll see. So I hope you still enjoyed this series with me and that you understood why I got annoyed at times or disagreed with me and have let me know why and how stupid I am or whatever, stuff like that. But yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, please leave a like, leave me a comment, and if you want to see me play more games, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in for another video at some point, and yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Bye!